going to break down the whole Jameis Winston situation that is going on right now. Tom, there's an investigation. There are multiple reports out there that Winston will miss three games of the regular season, which is a big blow for Tampa Bay, Tom. Yeah, we'll break down the games that they play there. This is a very interesting situation for me, for Winston, because this, uh, this incident did happen like two years ago. Like, this is an older incident that the NFL is started investigating last year in November. And the reports are that the NFL will suspend Winston for three games. There's a lot to unpack, so we'll kind of take our time with this one here. The suspension stems from that March 2016 accusation from an Uber driver that said Winston grabbed her, her crotch. Which, of course, not okay to do no. under any circumstances. Winston has denied any wrongdoing. And back in November, Ronald Darby said, hey, I was in the car. Winston was in the backseat of me. I don't know if there's some misremembering or whatever, but this didn't happen. Like, this is not what happened. Small detail, though. The issue is, apparently, A, Ronald Darby wasn't in the, in the car for the entire time, which is why the NFL is like, okay, you're no longer credible because you weren't there for the entire time. And they never mentioned who the third passenger was. Turns out it was Brandon Banks, who in J June 2017 was convicted and is now serving 15 years in prison for rape. Well, that's great. So don't hang out with that guy. And that came from a, t t a, t a 2013 incident. So at the very least, if you're Winston, not surrounding yourself with the best type of player or the best type of person. So this is not a good look for James. Right at now. the very least, it's a bad look. And the NFL, it sounds like they're going to come down with a three-game suspension, which I think brings up an another more longer, why is this the case? Why isn't it six? Well, that's what I was just going to say. And this is, I've seen this a lot already from Cowboys fans, and they're going to keep seeing it from Cowboys fans. Isn't it supposed to be six? And that's led to at least one theory promoted by Pro Football Talk that the NFL and Winston kind of already agreed to a deal. Like, hey, we'll give you three games, you don't appeal, and we'll call it, call it even. And then the NFL doesn't have to go through another long and arduous process of an appeal and all that stuff. The six-game suspension is the baseline suspension for domestic violence. And Jameis Winston, albeit it wasn't domestic violence, it was basically sexual assault if he did indeed do this. Mm -hmm. And that should be a part of the baseline six game suspension. So the fact that he is r rumored to get only three games is a little ridiculous. Now we're gonna break down the Bucks quarterback depth chart as well as schedule here. But first, a thank you to Man Crates for sponsoring NFL Daily here today. Get the awesome Grill Master Crate for the summer, folks. There's no quicker way to separate the men from the boys, Tom, than to observe how they manage a steak on the grill. I've done it many a times myself. The Grill Master Crate is for the man who's a cool operator, me, whenever the heat is high, also me. Well, first off, my grill game is better. We know that. <laughs> and I love this crate. I'm moving out of my apartment into a nice new house, and this crate puts alongside my, my new grill. No more using the little apartment complex grill going, going up here. There you here's, go. Here's, here's the current level. With the crate, it's up here. My grill game is just way better than yours, Cam. Mancrates.com. Get it done today, folks. Awesome gifts guys love. All right, we'll talk about our grill games after the show here, but now let's I'm take hungry. a look at the quarterback depth chart. And Ryan Fitzmagic will be the guy for at least three games, it seems. Yeah, which is always funny to me because it's always Fitzpatrick. It always Every is. year always. Fitzpatrick finds a way to be a starting quarterback, and he's better coming off the bench than he is an actual NFL starter. The Bucs says that they're not going to add anybody. Or at least that, that was the report that the Bucs were not going to add anybody. Ryan Griffin they seem to really like for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but they seem to remain big fans of him. They also have Austin Allen, who at one point was a, a, tired, a touted NFL prospect, and then it all fell apart from there So at Arkansas. Not uh, good. Tulane, by the way, for, 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 for Griffin. Two ways to look at it, Cam, and we had the same debate with me, you, and, and producer Lana before the show. First three games, Saints, Eagles, Steelers. Rough three games to miss Lost, him, lost, lost. But they're probably going to lose him anyway, right? Sure. So is that that bad in the end? Um, like, if you're going to miss three games, shouldn't be the three that you're gonna, probably going to lose anyway? I don't think that's just the right way to look at it. I mean, that's obviously not how the Buccaneers are looking at it. And, I mean, Jameis obviously gives you a chance to beat Maybe Philadelphia, Pittsburgh can squeak up here and there and lose a game or two that you really don't expect. So, I mean, it's the NFL, Tom. It's any given Sunday here. It's and true. let's say that they do go 0-3. I mean, they could go 1-5 on that board that you just saw there. So I buy it. I don't think Bucks are, are going to be that good. And then even beyond that, what does this mean for Winston's kind of like long-term progression? There was one report from a Bucks reporter that I trust that said, 
Winston's future is in doubt. And I get that because it's, it's not only just the fact that he's going to be suspended for the three games, but if Winston was in the Uber alone, as, as the report says, mm-hmm. means he lied about it. Sure. Which, this is, is a, this which, goes to character. which is actually worse than I think maybe even the, the incident itself, potentially, at least in terms of how the Bucks view it. Because it's one thing to just move on from the incident, which is, which is bad in and of itself. But to lie about it, they often tell you, at least my mom always did, lying about it only makes it worse. And if that's the case here with Winston, why would the Bucks trust him? And I know it's, it was two years ago, and it's different, and he's stayed, for the most part, out of trouble since then. But you still have to factor in all the incidents he had, he had at, 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 at FSU. Mm-hmm. Cam, I'm a big believer that there is, where there is smoke, there is fire. There is a lot of smoke around Jameis Winston. Uh, there's, it's always something each year with him that he finds himself getting in trouble for. And he wasn't that great last year for Tampa. I think it's a fair question to ask whether or not Winston, come this time next year, if he's going to still be with Tampa. Imagine being Dirk Cutter right now. First of all, you don't even like Jameis to start with. Yeah, those, those two don't get along. And then you have this report that's coming out, and Dirk's like low-key, just maybe fist-bumping, like, you know, underneath the table, mm-hmm. just happy that maybe he can get rid of Jameis. But if Winston's out, then I think Cutter's out, too. Perhaps. Like, fair or not, I think Cutter and Winston's timelines are tied together. They're not going anywhere anytime soon, at least in terms of, of several ways, unless one of them gets fired. Or All gets right. cut if you're Jameis Winston. What do you think, by the way? I don't want to put you on the spot or anything, but Jameis Winston, innocent, guilty, what do you, you just don't know enough? It's tough because there wasn't even a police in, in investigation. Yeah. Like, it's very tough to, to firmly say, oh, he's innocent or he's guilty. I'll tell you this, with the evidence that we have, I'd lean toward more. Something probably happened. In, in that Something over. probably went down. All right, folks, we'll see what happens with Jameis Winston. We'll keep you updated here on Chat Sports, but we're saying goodbye here on NFL Daily. For Tom Downey, I am Cam Rogers. We'll see you Wednesday night.